guys come with me to vancouver for a two days work training so i decided to use the uh sky train from the airport to my hotel and the view from the top was nice not bad but guys full disclosure you see the train system in vancouver is not for the week i'll tell you more about it later anyway i got to my hotel certain place hotel and i was shocked so what i had uh, reserved before coming was a normal king's bedroom like just one room thing and i got inside this place i found a full-blown apartment you see this umbrella it just it was just so funny to me and it just reminded me that you know what Busola, you're in vancouver if you know you know anyway they gave i later realized that i was upgraded myself and some of my other colleagues were given this apartment now i would have honestly appreciated my one bedroom because maybe if i had known that i was going to find everything i could find in my house maybe i would have brought gary eba same way, everything and cook but it wasn't just my style like the old furniture the living room the dining it wasn't just what i vibe with i feel like it was giving old style and i didn't like it but it wasn't bad but i really did i didn't use all the space now let me tell you why i said the train system showed me shiggy banter so i, I got the ticket eight dollars plus in my mind, I'm like, this thing is expensive. It was just a single pass, normal 90 minutes that I would get for three dollars seventy cents in Calgary. But then that's not the issue. I got to the station, I was stopping, and then I tapped, and then the thing, the there is a screen that will tell you if you can leave, and then it showed me you are you are owing one dollar something. I'm like, why, why? I paid it, and someone I said, oh, oh, next time you should just select zone two if, if I was leaving the airport or going to the airport. On the last day, I was going to the airport, so I selected zone two to get the ticket. And when I got to the airport, this time I got the ticket for four dollars something. This time it says you have invalid ticket, so I bought another ticket. But you know what? I'm not gonna bore you with the old train issue. After the old mini tour, I decided to go to the Vancouver branch to see some of my colleagues. And after the not, not so small talk, honestly, I was hungry. We came to this food truck and I got this burger that was so cute because I got this little jar on it. We, we sat down just across the food truck and we had our lunch while also enjoying the view. There's something about Vancouver, guys. Vancouver is beautiful. And I can't believe it took me one year to realize because I was here last last year and I actually even stayed in downtown. I think I was just so consumed with going to Victoria and I didn't get to really enjoy it. Now, if I'm saying that Vancouver is beautiful, I'm not talking about all these views. Oh. See, just all I ask is stay tuned for part two where you will see the view nightlife in Vancouver because I took a lot of videos. Later in the evening, we came to Elle's Kitchen for dinner. And if you know me, you know that my seafood in this country is pasta. And as a proper Yoruba girl, I sprinkled some chili pepper. And it was so yummy. Got so tired and I just went to bed. Thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for part two where I would also share more about the training. I got some jar on top it was just so cute i love it anyway we sat down and uh, the view in front of us was just so nice there's something about vancouver vancouver is beautiful
I went back to the hotel and later in the evening, my colleague and I decided to take a walk and find somewhere for dinner. Now I must warn you, these views are nothing compared to what I would later show you in the part 2 of this video. I experienced the view and beautiful nightlife in Vancouver on my last night here. And I'm really convinced that the Vancouver I came last year is definitely not the Vancouver I came in this year. Because I, I kind of feel like I I didn't really enjoy Vancouver. I was just so caught up in experiencing Victoria. Even though I lodged in Vancouver, I lodged in the downtown area. But I, I didn't even notice all of the places I would later show you in part two. Because I was surprised. Like, did I really come to Vancouver last year? <laughs> But well, anyway, it was it was just it was just so good, and you will see that later. Uh, we finally found Elle's kitchen, and uh, if you know me, <laughs> you would know that pasta is my safe food in this country. So I got Alfredo, and as a proper Yoruba girl, I sprinkled some chili pepper, and it was yummy. Got, got back to my hotel, and I couldn't wait to call it a night. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for part two, where I would also tell you more about the training.